Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Laidlaw, a board-certified specialist in endocrinology. I've written and spoken extensively on this topic. To begin, there are only two sexes. The male adult human produces sperm, and the female adult produces an egg. It is scientifically impossible to make a male into a female, or vice versa. A high proportion of adolescents with gender confusion actually have other neuropsychiatric problems. A Finnish study showed 75% had been or were currently undergoing psychiatric treatment for reasons other than gender confusion. 26% had autistic spectrum disorder. Dr. Littman's 2018 study showed that social contagion, peer pressure, and social media use were linked to clusters of minors with such confusion. There are four stages of what's being called affirmative care, social transition, puberty blockers, cross-sex hormones, and surgery. Puberty is an essential part of human maturation. Puberty-blocking medications like Lupron cause a disease state and freeze normal development. Harms include sexual dysfunction and infertility, abnormal bone density with risk for fractures, and disruption of normal brain maturation. Tavistock Gender Clinic data showed that minors on blockers actually reported greater self-harm. Girls showed more behavioral and emotional problems and dissatisfaction with their bodies. Is puberty blocking medication reversible? No. Time lost from developing together with peers and reaching important milestones can never be regained. A key period of strengthening bone is lost forever. Normal pituitary function can take a year or more to recover, if at all. Testosterone is being used on girls at dangerously high doses, 10 to 40 times above the normal adult female level. Known side effects include hypertension, dangerous high red blood cell counts, breast, uterine, and ovarian cancer risks. Males are being given very high dose estrogen. Side effects include five times increased risk of deadly blood clots, two times increased risk of stroke, high triglycerides, and increased risk of male breast cancer. Both sexes have been shown to have increased risk of myocardial infarction and death from cardiovascular disease. These hormones are a pathway to sterilization. In a study of kids on puberty blockers, all 70 of those kids decided to go on to take wrong sex hormones after blockers. The majority then went on to have sterilizing surgeries where testicles and ovaries were removed. In this unethical study, U.S. girls as young as 13 and 14 years old had completely healthy breasts removed. These girls can never get functioning breasts back. Surgeries for males include dissecting the penis and inverting into a pelvic wound. For girls, removal of the skin of the forearm and attachment to the pelvis to look like a penis. Possible surgical complications include serious infection, chronic pain, urethral strictures, and death. There are no rigorous long-term studies that show that the hormonal and surgical treatments that I've described have any beneficial effect. Moreover, the majority of young children who suffer from gender confusion will ultimately embrace their bodies when supported through their natural puberty. Thousands of regretters of these harmful treatments can be found. Jewel Paradox is a detransition man I've spoken to personally. He says this, Gender affirmation, cross-sex hormones, and needless surgery left my mind and body wrecked. Gender doctors abandoned me when I refused to continue transition. I suffer chronic pain, post-traumatic stress disorder, and hormone dependence. Laura has shared her touching testimony on YouTube. I took testosterone on and off for four years and had two botched mastectomy surgeries. No one was discussing detransition. I started using drugs. I think my story can help people. I'm very grateful that I didn't make myself infertile. I'm a mother now. Understand that major medical systems can and have caused harm to people. Examples are the U.S. government's despicable Tuskegee syphilis experiment on African Americans. The entire German medical establishment was behind atrocious human eugenics experiments in Nazi Germany, including untold numbers of children. Acts performed by doctors which mutilate, sterilize, or otherwise harm minors such as blocking normal puberty, high-dose wrong-sex hormones, 
and sex organ removal are not health care, but are criminal acts. Please put the Vulnerable Child Protection Act on the books to protect South Dakota kids from such massive harms. Thank you.